Hey, what's up guys, Nick Frosty here, and in this web dev tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple two-column website. Now, we are going to be using um, only HTML and CSS. Um, now, HTML will be our primary framework for the site, and then we will use CSS, or cascading style sheets, to style the website and make it look nice and fancy. So, before we go ahead and start, I'm going to point out a couple of things. Um, first off, I have an images and an index.php file here or an images folder in index.php file. Now the index.php file right here uh, just has some very simple HTML in it, uh, nothing special at all. We have a title being set, and you can see it on this page here, and nothing much else. And then I have an images folder, and inside the images folder I have a header image and a logo image. Now the header image will be the primary background for the header of the site itself, and I will explain that later once we get to it. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, first I'm going to explain the basic setup of an HTML file. Now, on the first line here, we have our uh, doc type. Now, this line is generally declared on almost every single P or, uh, uh, HTML file, and it sort of gives a standard for viewing HTML files and uh, backwards compatibility with older and, in my opinion, worse uh, web browsers such as Internet Explorer. Um, uh, yeah, so then we have our HTML tag that starts our HTML document, our head tag that starts our head area, which generally contains things like uh, our title here, uh, various meta information like uh, the HTTP equiv or equivalence um, attribute there, or the content, keywords, things like that, um, fav icons that you see on web pages such as these little images here, and then you have the title, obviously, and any internal style sheets you have, uh, link, links to various files, such as your CSS files or JavaScript files, and other things like that. Now then we have our body tag. Now our body tag is the main uh, area where we have the content of our site. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to change the title to a very simple one. And immediately after changing that, if we refresh the page, we have our title changed. So that sets the uh, primary title of our page. So then we're going to go ahead and start with the framework of the HTML site. Now the framework is going to be as follows. We will have a large container or a div. Now the div tag is one of the most common tags that I use uh, when creating HTML pages. And a div is essentially a container. Now, the container can have various attributes, such as ID, or class, things like that. Style uh, is another uh, useful one. But we are going to have a div with the ID of wrapper. Now, the wrapper div is going to be our primary container for our entire site. Now, the reason for this is because if we don't have this wrapper container that will contain our entire site, there are certain styles that we really can't apply to the rest of the site, um, such as centering the page or um, setting a width to the entire site itself. So that's what the point of the wrapper div is going to be. Then inside of this div of the ID of wrapper, we're going to have a few other divs. Now, the first div is going to be our header. Now, the header div I usually use for things like your logo image, uh, possibly some navigation links um, and things like that. Next we will have the content div and then we will have the footer which will contain things like footer links like contact, terms of service, that sort of thing. Uh, our content um, our content is going to contain two other divs inside of it and now these two divs are going to be our left and right columns. Now, since we're creating a two-column site, one column is going to be on the left side and the other on the right side, obviously. And one will be fairly large, say somewhere around 600 pixels. And the other one will be uh, somewhat smaller, roughly half the size of it. And that will give us a nice two-column effect. And I will demonstrate how to change it to have a larger left or right column and then the other one to be the smaller column. So, we can go ahead and put in some filler text in here just to show that we have um, anything on our page. So, if we go ahead and refresh our page here, we simply have header, 
content and footer. And if we go ahead and control U in Google Chrome, uh, which is view page source, we have our page created, but there's no styling to it, nothing special, so it just looks like we have three lines of text. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create our external style sheet. Now, a style sheet, or CSS, our cascading style sheets, are um, filled with code that will allow you to, um, obviously, style your websites or pages. Now, there are two types of style sheets. You can use internal or external. An internal style sheet, if we were to use an internal style sheet, we would declare a style tag inside of the head tag towards the top of our page. Um, generally, you can also set a type equal to text slash CSS. And then, generally, you have an HTML comment block inside of here, which is uh, open greater than sign or less than sign, sorry, and then you have a exclamation mark, four dashes or tack signs, as I call them, which is uh, military phonetics, and then you have a greater than sign, and then inside of here would be your commented out um, information, things like that. So inside of there is where we would have internal style sheets. Now we are going to be working with uh, primarily with external style sheets. Now in order to use an external style sheet, simply create a file, and I'm just going to make it so I can save this. I'm going to save this as main.css. So if we go back into our folder here, we have main.css created. Now we can set a body tag style, and I will explain this again later. So we will create our body style, and for now we will set a background color to pound or hash, depending on what country you're in, 414141, and that will give us a very dark background color. Now if I just refresh this page here, there's nothing that changes. And the reason being is because we haven't linked to that file. So what we have to do is we have to link to that file so all of those styles that we have in our CSS file will be applied on our web page. So to link off to those files, we want to use the link value or the link attribute. We want to set an href equal to the location of the file, which is main.css. And we, the, ad, the href attribute will allow us to set the location of the file. Then we have dot slash or working in the current directory. And then we want to select our main.css. Now we want to use the rel attribute. And we want to set this to style sheet. Then after that, we want to set a type of text slash CSS. And that will actually link off to our CSS file. So if we go ahead and refresh our page here, you can see that our background color has changed. So now that we have our styles actually being applied, we can start styling the rest of our page. So back to our CSS file. Now the CSS style, or the, uh, the style sheet here, our cascading style sheet, um, in order to style various elements or um, areas of your website, you have to declare what type of element you want to style. Now, there are a few different ways to declare them depending on the type of element. So, the asterisk here, or the star, will style every single element on the page. Now, generally, I set a font family, the font tag family style. Um, this will allow you to set a font family such as Arial, Times New Roman, or things like that. Now, on web pages, I like to use the Helvetica font. I really like this font. So if we go ahead and just refresh this page, you can see the text here. We refresh, and it didn't actually work because I spelled Helvetica wrong. So if we go ahead and do that again, we refresh, you can see that our text style changes. So we have a different font family. So the asterisk style will apply to every single item on the page. Now, the body style, when declaring or styling individual elements or various tags, um, you just simply type in the tag name, in this case body, and then whatever styles you want to uh, use. Now, you can do the same thing for, say, all the divs or anything like that. You can style it that way. And then you have to have your open and close curly bra braces on the uh, afterwards, 
in order to signify that everything inside of that is where you have all the styles for that element. Now, when declaring a style on an element or anything of that nature, such as an ID, which I will show later, and classes, um, when declaring the element style, you have the style type you want to create, in this case, a background tack color, so we want to set the background color, and then you have a colon signifying that after this colon, that's the value you want to set it to, and then a semicolon saying that's the end of this style. So we're setting our background color to hash 414141, and we're setting it on our body. So that gives us the background color of that gray color. Now, if you want to go ahead and uh, find your own colors and pick out what you like, a great website that I use is colorpicker.com. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description, uh, in all likeliness. Um, and it's a great website. It's very simple. You can just drag around a uh, little uh, sort of a circle and select what color you want. Um, it's very helpful, very handy. I use it a lot. So next, since we have our primary HTML styles there, we can go ahead and start styling our wrapper. Now, as I showed earlier, we created a div with an ID of wrapper. So we want to style this wrapper tag. Now, in order to style items that have an ID value, you type in a hash and then the wrapper or the uh, ID name in this case of wrapper. So we want to style the wrapper, and then we put in our curly braces. And then inside of here is where we set the uh, style values that we want. In this case, I am going to set the width to let's go with 900 for now, and that shouldn't have a hash there. So we want to set it to 900 px or pixels. So that will give us a, uh, a width of 900. Now we will be changing this later, uh, but for now this will work. So I'm also going to set a background color so you can actually see it. And I'm going to set the color to FFF or white. So if we go ahead and refresh the page now, you can see we have our white box. That's essentially what a div is. It's just a box. And we have our content inside of it. There's nothing special about it. Uh, but what I want to point out is that it's not centered in our web page at all. There's plenty of space on this side, almost no space on this side. So in order to center our wrapper div, the two styles that we need are margin, tack left. So we want to set the left margin to auto. And then we want to set the right margin to auto as well. After doing that, our page will be centered in the page or in the web browser always. So very helpful and makes your website look very nice. So next, since we want to style the header, content, and footer IDs, in order to style an ID within an ID, you use the following format. So you say the parent ID, in this case, wrapper, and then the child ID, in this case, we'll start with header. So we want to style the header, and then we put in our curly braces. So the header styles for now will be width, or not width, width, sorry. We will do height of, say, 100 pixels. And we will set a background color to, let's go with EEE -E -E for now, or rather CCC. So it'll give us a very dark, or not very dark, but it'll give us a dark gray color that will stand out against the white and the background color as well. So we can go ahead and copy this code and use it for the content and footer areas. Now the footer, I'm going to set the height to five or, uh, 50. The content, I'm going to set to 200. The background color for the content is going to be EEE, -E -E, which is a very light gray. And then the content for this will be BBB. -B -B. So we're just using very uh, simple colors to show that we actually have these items created in our header, our content, and our footer. So now that we have these items created and uh, visually displayed and um, they're visually different, we can go ahead and start um, applying all of their individual styles to them and make them look very nice. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.